Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I did a really, really fun makeup tutorial using the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street Palette. Look how gorgeous these colors are. So, as you can see, I definitely used the more blue colors, a little bit of the warm tones, and oh my gosh, this palette is great. I'll link it down below. You guys can go purchase it for yourself. But I created this really pretty blue cut crease with a little bit of glitter, and I really liked how it turned out. I also used... Um, the Moonchild Gloss. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want to see how I created this look using the Dream Street palette, then just keep on watching. Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be using the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street palette. It is so pretty, and I cannot wait to get started. So first we're going to be taking the color Magical on a large Kylie Cosmetics fluffy brush that I'm not sure if you can get anymore, but we're just going to be putting this in the crease as our transition shade. Don't really have to focus it in any certain place, just all over the eyelid. Now we're going to be taking the color Water Bearer, that really pretty blue color, on a Morphe Y18 brush and we're going to be carving out our crease with this. So you just want to be really careful and only put it right in the crease of your eye. As you can see this shade is super pigmented, I was very surprised about it. But yeah, you just want to focus this right in your crease and I'm um, fluffing it out a little bit to create like a winged effect. But if it gets on your lid, don't worry, we're going to be carving out the crease later anyways. Now we're going to be taking that shade Magical again on the exact same brush. I just wiped it off so that there's no excess blue color on there. And we're going to be placing that right above the water bearer shade to create a cool like warm effect coming out from underneath the color. So you just make sure you're blending this up onto the edges as well, not anywhere lower because then it, the colors will start to get muddy, but just right on the top above the blue color you just placed. Sometimes when you're blending a lot, the colors tend to wash away a little bit. So I'm going to be taking Water Bearer again with that exact same brush and just really building up that intense color, focusing on the outer corner. I am bringing it in a little bit, but mostly focusing it on the outer corner. Now I'm just taking a makeup wipe to clean up any excess fallout that may have fallen on your face and to really sharpen up that wing look. As you can see, I'm just taking my finger underneath the wipe and really sharpening up that line. This is going to make cutting your crease a lot easier. So now I'm going to cut my crease with this small ColourPop eyeliner brush, I believe, with my Tarte Shape Tape. Make sure you don't use too much product because it can get a little messy if you do, but all I'm doing is just cutting my crease. Now I'm taking a Kylie Cosmetics pencil brush with the water bearer shade and using that to get really, really precise um, in my crease to deepen up that shade as you can see, focusing mainly on the inner corner. Now I'm taking the shade Potion with a little Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that I got in the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm just putting that right above the water bearer shade to warm up the upper crease more. Now I'm taking the shade Mooney in the palette and my Morphe Y22 brush, it's a really small brush, and I'm going to highlight my brow bone with this color. Now one of my favorite parts, I'm taking the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Midnight Cowboy and I'm basically going over my crease with this just to add a little fun detail. Now I'm quickly just jumping over to my ColourPop Yes Please palette and using a flat brush just intensifying the white color on my lid. Now for some tart lashes and we're on to the face. I'm priming with my Hangover RX Primer by Too Faced, and then I'm using the Amazonian Clay Foundation by Tarte in the shade Fair Honey, and then I'm blending that out with a, a Cosmetics 110 brush. I'm concealing with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral, and I'm putting that underneath my eyes, and I'm going to be blending it out with my new Real Techniques 102 brush. It's kind of a weird shape, but it really gave me good coverage underneath the eyes, which I really liked. And then I'm going to be putting this on the high points of my face and blending that out as well with my foundation brush.
Now I'm going to be setting my face with my Laura Mercier translucent powder with my big Real Techniques blush brush and I'm just going to be doing this underneath my eyes and then basically in my oily points of my T-zone. I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. Oh my gosh, I love this powder so much. It blurs your pores and I'm going to be using the exact same brush that I did before. Now I'm going to be finishing up my eyes. I'm going to be using Magical underneath with a big fluffy brush. And then I'm basically going to be mimicking what I did on the upper lid. So taking Magical with a big fluffy brush all over the bottom. Then Water Bearer with a precise pencil brush really close to the lash line. And then Potion underneath, underneath that with a smaller brush. Now I'm going to be using this Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick in my waterline. I know it doesn't seem like it's meant for the waterline, but I really liked how it looked. It just gave a cool effect to the eyes. Finally, roller lash on my bottom lashes. Now for the rest of my face, I'm starting with the ColourPop Pressed Powder Face Bronzer in Private Party. And I'm going to be using this little brush I got in a brush set from Target. Sorry, I don't know the exact name. But I'm just going to be putting this in the 3E three shape, three e shape on my cheekbones, my forehead, and then my jawline. Now I'm going to be blushing my cheeks with the Morphe Y4 brush and the Tarte Amazonian Clay blush in the shade Concept. For highlight, I'm using the ColourPop Gimme More palette in the shade Bigger and Better. And I'm also using my ColourPop Large Fluff Brush, or small, I think. And I love this highlighter, it's just so pretty. I'm popping it on my cheekbones, and then on my nose and my Cupid's bow. Finally, I'm setting my face with the Milan Milani Make It Last Setting Spray to melt all my makeup into my skin. For lips, I'm lining and filling in my lips with the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Liner in the shade Bare to Comment. These lip, lip liners are so affordable and they are so good, oh my gosh. And last but not least, I'm putting the Moonchild Lip Gloss by ColourPop and Kathleen Lights on the center of my lips and then blending out, and we are done. So there you have it guys, that is how I created this really cool look using the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop Dream Street Palette. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.